<laughs> Welcome to Downhill Smooth Tarmac. Today we're at Sherwood Forest. We're hitting the red route with my homemade e-bike. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so the plan for this ride was really, really simple. It was to take my homemade e-bike and go throw it around Sherwood Pines. The bike has never before let me down. And let me tell you a little bit about it. It's a specialized Camber 29er. So it's an old 29er and it's got my tried and trusted Bafang mid-drive motor on it. It's only 250 watts. I know it's tried and trusted because it's got almost 3,000 miles on it and it has never let me down. I decided to take it around the trail centre because simply you see so many e-bikes out there now and it's not something I've ever done. Yeah I've used it for commuting and yes I've taken the long way home with it a few times but never have I ever taken one round a proper graded trail centre. As it's a homemade e-bike we picked Sherwood Pines because it is at the very very lowest end of what we would call a red route. Okay, so riding with me in the rain today on the trails, we've got Scott. Scott's in the cream jacket and he is riding a Marin full suspension e-bike complete with Shimano Steps motor. And at the other end of the spectrum, we've got our very own Top Dogger Brown. Simon is here on a 26er Stump Jumper FSR Enduro. So, uh, needless to say, one of the three of us was having a workout on today's ride, and it wasn't me or Scott. So a little bit more about the spec of the camber, just to give you a flavour of the bike. So shocks are rock shocks front and rear, brakes Shimano SLX with big rotors because with the motor on this is a weighty beast. She is no lightweight, especially because out back I've also got a Shimano Alfine rear hub with an 8 speed. Reason for this is it gives me a decent chain line for the motor. Any of you that have ever fitted one of these mid-drives will probably have discovered that it is really hard to get a decent chain line and a good spread of gears. those of you that haven't been, Sherwood's Kitchener Trail is graded as red and is about five and a half miles long. 
it is at the very low end of what would be classed as a red trail in my mind possibly maybe better as a forestry commission blue however tucked away in the middle there is a cheeky little downhill trail that again is not too technical but is really really fast reason why I'm mentioning that is because we're heading for it in just a second you're going to see in this next clip just how heavy the e-bike actually is when I try and get it up to the ramp to start heading down the first of these downhill trails so pure comedy gold here just struggling to get the bike and my big fat mess up to the top of the trail but we're off let's send it down about this point on the downhill section where I started to feel like something wasn't quite right with the bike. Started to hear a few noises that I wasn't too keen on but just passed it off as worrying or is it the battery clattering or is it something sort of moving about on the bike because it hasn't been ridden in a little while. However in this next clip you're going to see where the confusion begins and the bike comes unstuck. Hey. Oh. oh, hello. You got a puncture? That's you. It's not me. I want me. Who's you, mate? You did a little. Have you got the juicy one? Is it tubeless? It's so coming out of that last section. I'm convinced that Scott's had a puncture and his tubeless just sealed up. However, during this next piece of trail, it started to become apparent that it was in fact me that had had the problem. And just now, I'm going to explain to you on the trail what had gone wrong. Okay, so today the people's route to be what's it like on the e bike around the trail centre because I don't do it in normal. So I've grabbed my camera, which has got the Bafang conversion kit on it. I run a pump motor on it for the chain line because this is mainly my commute today. Unfortunately, as you can tell by my rather slack seated position, my shock has exploded. So we're back to the trail centre. The other pair is still out there. They'll be back soon. I'm going to go and lick my wounds and have a coffee. So with that abrupt end, you're going to have to stay tuned to the channel to see what I come back with to Sherwood Pines to re-attack. Kitchener Trail on an e-bike. Thanks for watching.